Can you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hi, I'm do, do the introduction. Sorry? You're, yes, you're so, oh, do, do I thought that I've done it. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> so, <laughs> here is our. <laughs> uh, so, um, so yeah, Hong Ding is uh, um, the, well, I've known him so long. So, <laughs> so it's uh, from uh, Chinese Academy of Science, and he's going to tell us about the iron based superconductor as a new platform for a new Myrana. Go okay. <laughs> Sorry about uh, that. Thanks. Uh, thank you, everyone. And uh, thank you to the organizers for inviting me to this uh, exciting workshop. Uh, today, I will uh, talk about uh, some of the work uh, we have done over this uh, few years. Uh, this is really about the arm based uh, superconductors as a new Majorana uh, playground. Uh, I'm Hong Ding from uh, uh, Institute of Physics, uh, Chinese Academy of Sciences. And uh, so I will just briefly introduce uh, this uh, uh, fermions uh, in the universe. And we know the Dirac, Weyer, and the Majorana equations, uh, which are the prediction for the Dirac fermion, Weyer fermion, and the Majorana fermion. And uh, as we know, only Dirac fermions uh, have been uh, discovered in the uh, universe. And uh, um, here uh, comes a, a rescue from so-called solid universe. Uh, the, we have uh, quasi particles uh, that can obey the uh, same uh, physical laws or uh, equations like Dirac, a wire, and uh, and, and uh, Majorana equations as the fundamental uh, particles. And uh, this uh, not only uh, uh, satisfy our uh, uh, curiosity, uh, but also uh, bring some useful device like uh, uh, transistors and the computers uh, to our society. And uh, our group is very uh, fortunate to uh, be part of uh, the discovery of the wire fermion in uh, solid back in uh, 2015. And uh, uh, since uh, that, uh, I kind of shift my interest to search for Majana fermions. <clears throat> As we know, uh, in particle physics, uh, searching for Majana fermion is a very hard uh, topic. Uh, neutrino is predicted as Majorana fermion, but it needs the observation of the neutrino list double beta decay, which is very rare. And in, in condensed matter physics, uh, as we know, quasi particles in uh, a P wave a superconductor, a topological superconductor is uh, uh, Majorana uh, fermionic quasi particle. And uh, more exotically, um, Majorana zero mode inside the vortex core of the superconducting topological materials uh, is an anion, uh, is a spatial anion called a non abiding anion, and it can be used in a robust quantum computation. And uh, uh, how do we view the Majorana fermions in a, a superconductor? I saw uh, we told by uh, Frank Wiercheck uh, in uh, his reviewed paper called the Majorana Returns. One can see the electron uh, can be equal to a whole plus uh, a couple pair. So you can uh, essentially regard a, a electron uh, as uh, an, a, a whole uh, surrounding by Cooper pairs, uh, since in a superconductor, Cooper pairs number uh, is not conserved, but this requires the same spin uh, for the electron and the holes uh, that requires so called topological superconductors. And uh, essentially, you need a, a spinning uh, superconductor. So, uh, there are several ways to find the Majorana zero mode in solid. Uh, first, proposed by KTF 
in IP with a superconductor. And uh, so you have a, a triplet uh, uh, pairing. So uh, essentially it's, uh, you remove the degree of freedom of the spin. And so it become a, a spinless a superconductor. Um, but as we know, a superconductor is rare or uh, haven't been found. And so it's difficult to realize uh, Machana zero mode in a real P wave superconductor. So the real breakthrough comes in 2008 when uh, Fran Ken proposed that actually you don't need a topological superconductor and you don't need a spin superconductor. You can achieve the same effect by using an interface between a topological insulator and the superconductor, a, the usual S-wave superconductors. So you can bring this spin polarized state from the metallic surface state of the topological insulator, and which can become superconducting if it's in a proximity to a S-wave superconductor. So then you realize essentially a spin polarized superconducting state uh, on the interface. Uh, so uh, this uh, has uh, opened this field and uh, for many experiments and uh, uh, demonstrated of funding a zero mode and, and therefore the uh, variation and the semiconductor and uh, uh, by using this uh, essentially uh, the Rochberg effect and also uh, use a magnetic field to open up a uh, wonderful branch. So open up a gap. So you left uh, the other uh, spin polarized branch as a, a superconducting state. So you can achieve the same thing. And it, it uh, actually, uh, uh, after 10 years, we realized actually one, does not need two materials, an interface to realize this. You can use a single material to realize exactly the same thing, but that requires two kinds of bands. So um, loosely speaking, you can have one kind of band uh, which behave as a topological insulator, uh, another kind of band uh, behave, uh, provide a pairing. So uh, you essentially have this uh, proximity effect in K space, and then you can uh, uh, have the uh, spin polarized surface state, which become uh, superconducting. Uh, so uh, then you can achieve exactly from the case uh, proposal. And uh, this is uh, essentially a new role. And uh, I, I was, uh, actually kind of a surprise why it uh, took people uh, 10 years to realize this. And uh, so we are the, the first group uh, to actually realize that, this one. And uh, so back to the friend uh, um proposal, therefore uh, several uh, common platform uh, which claim to find the strong evidence for Marshall on zero mode. One is a, a nanowire on a, a superconductor for quite a few papers, although there are some papers that has been a serious uh, challenged and which brings uh, some controversial to the field. And uh, there's also the atomic chain on the superconductor and also the, the original proposal of when I can, there's TI on superconductor. Uh, seeing the zero mode, uh, but uh, this uh, coexist with other uh, this uh, other non-topological uh, vortex bound states. Now there was also this uh, quantum anomalous whole effect on superconductor, uh, but this paper has been also uh, challenged. Um, those platforms uh, suffer some uh, problems. One is uh, one in the a complex uh, heterostructure, and uh, another in the ultra low temperature. Uh, but the more serious problem is uh, uh, mining platforms have a very small topological energy gap. So it's uh, very difficult to 
uh, obtain a pure uh, marijuana through my order. So we have to think differently. So from the single uh, for me surface, we have to think about the uh, multiple for me surface, multiple band. And part of this uh, has become topological non-trivial. Um, to overcome the ultra low temperature problem, we need to think about the high TC superconductors. And the top 10, uh, uh, the large topological gap, uh, which in the vortex case, essentially it's proportional to the superconducting gap square divided by EF, the Fermi energy. So if we, we can increase the superconducting gap and also significantly decrease the EF, then we can uh, get a relatively large uh, separation between the zero mode and the the other non-zero modes in the vortex. So we need a, a small Fermi energy. And uh, from the hydro structure, we have to think about a single material. So then here comes uh, ion-based superconductor, uh, which is a, a multi-band high TC superconductor. I showed here, and the many bands cross the EF, quite a few of four or five uh, for me surface. Uh, they have a whole pocket and the electron pocket. And here is our early work uh, to demonstrate uh, this uh, uh, mining uh, um, for me surface uh, with uh, multiple superconducting gap, uh, which essentially is the ice wave, but it is uh, for me surface dependent ice wave. And uh, for a the simplest uh, ion based superconductor, there is uh, um, ion and uh, T uh, AC, uh, terulene, uh, selenium, and uh, which have a, a very small EF and uh, also with a large mass renormalization. And uh, because of the Fermi surface pocket uh, are very small, as reviewed by RPAS experiment, uh, you can see. Uh, all of the whole Fermi surface have a very small uh, EF. In fact, here actually um, demonstrated one of what the RPAS work uh, show uh, this uh, EF is comparable to superconducting gap, uh, which they claim actually this move to the BEC regime. And uh, from the theory side, uh, this material have a large uh, mass renormalized uh, uh, which essentially uh, further reduced uh, uh, EF. So uh, there's some early evidence for this non-trivial band inversion in the ion uh, terulene and selenium, uh, about half and half. Uh, uh, we actually, back in 2014, uh, um, my student, uh, did the experiment uh, in a single electron in, uh, uh, in Berkeley and, and uh, in this, uh, 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 this uh, uh, Lawrence lab and uh, uh, to, uh, to actually uh, see uh, this whole Fermi surface in this material is kind of unusual. It's not very smooth uh, parabolic, but like a triangle. So he actually doped uh, the surface by potassium, uh, essentially to raise up the Fermi energy to see uh, what's happening uh, above this triangle. Uh, seems to see kind of this uh, uh, another electron-like band. And uh, so, but this data is quite fuzzy. We kind of argue with another, this is a Dirac cone, whether or not uh, this, uh, um, Therefore, that's an electron um, uh, for me surface uh, coming down. So our group at that time uh, is also doing a, a topological metal. So we are very sensitive to the ion Dirac <laughs> cone structure. And also we are doing the ion-based superconductor, especially this uh, uh, ion selenium uh, doped by uh, uh, this uh, uh, potassium ion 2 selenium 2. Uh, which actually show that this have the electron band uh, with the character, uh, the orbital character of the PZ band. So we kind of uh, 
um, suspect that the PZ band actually can come down. Uh, if they come down, they may uh, cross uh, these uh, uh, D uh, orbitals, uh, D bands. So we ask uh, the, our theoretical colleagues in IOP uh, to uh, do perform the um, this uh, um, uh, this first principle band calculation. Uh, to their surprise, uh, they see in the pure Einstein and uh, the PZ band is way above. But uh, by double half of uh, turning uh, this uh, PZ band. Uh, uh, can come down significantly uh, and also have a, a much wider bandwidth, so can have a, a band inversion and that can be easily proved. Uh, this is a topological non trivial. <clears throat> and uh, I showed here this PZ uh, orbital actually uh, mixed with this uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, DX square uh, can come down uh, this. Um, to uh, cross uh, this um, D band, and, uh, essentially this uh, open up a topological insulating uh, gap uh, with the, uh, this PX, uh, PXZ. <clears throat> so, and uh, but this uh, ha have this uh, TDS uh, structure, the topological direct uh, so that, uh, with the PYZ. So we have the RPS uh, showing this uh, crossing. And in the meantime, uh, Zhang Binghu showed uh, actually in the uh, monolayer case, uh, this might, might be the same, uh, essentially uh, depend on the height of the tsunami. Um, and uh, so uh, this can have this uh, uh, transition uh, from topological uh, trivial to non-trivial. And but uh, nobody believe us. And since they say, "Gee, uh, <laughs> this first principle is not reliable to do a, uh, the band uh, position for this uh, uh, highly correlated system," and uh, and your <laughs> RPAS data is very lousy. And uh, it took us uh, uh, three. Four years uh, when uh, my student uh, Peng Zhang uh, became a postdoc in the exchange group, and we collaborated and used the uh, super high resolution laser RPS uh, to actually, for the first time, to demonstrate that indeed you have a, a Dirac cone. Uh, and uh, this Dirac cone is actually spin polarized. Uh, so uh, by using the spin uh, resolved RPS, and this. Uh, 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 actually proof uh, what we observed is a surface state and this surface state actually open up a gap, superconducting gap below the box DC, uh, 15 Kelvin. So that's satisfied all uh, this, uh, uh, the criteria of uh, from the case uh, uh, model. And we propose that if we apply magnetic field, create the uh, vortex, and the one we see a zero mode, the Machana zero mode inside the vortex. And, uh, but we have to do the experiment. And uh, people say, this is a necessary condition, but it's not sufficient uh, uh, condition. You need observed, you need to have a right EF. And uh, people also worry about this uh, metallic box state and uh, which um, people say were short, uh, this uh, much on a zero mode. So uh, at that time, when we talk about this, uh, very few people believe we can actually see much on a zero mode. So nevertheless, we, we went down to do the STM experiment. We collaborated with Hong Jin Gao's group in IOP, uh, since my group has no STM um, at that time. Now I do have a, STM, uh, we have more STM uh, right now. So we, we use two of his uh, STM uh, with this low temperature, uh, 400 milli Kelvin with magnetic field and uh, relatively uh, good energy resolution. Uh, later on, he got uh, another even lower temperature uh, STM with the higher resolution. So we 
We do the experiment and here I show the cartoon. We scan this and uh, obtain this uh, surface um, uh, image and we do the DIDV to see the superconducting gap. If we apply magnetic field, we see the vortex. And uh, here is actually the vortex image. And if we do the DIDV uh, in the middle of the vortex, we actually see in the middle of the superconducting gap, we see a very robust zero mode. And here I showed you again uh, to show the uh, zero bias peak in this uh, material uh, outside of the black curve showing this uh, the hard gap. And then inside uh, in the middle, we have this uh, zero mode, uh, which is uh, uh, quite strong. And uh, this is actually a, a true vortex zero mode uh, first of all without magnetic field we don't have anything so it's not in purely state and we can also change the coupling between the tip and the, the surface and the, the single peak uh, stay on uh, uh, with essentially the same width controlled by our uh, resolution and uh, and uh, we uh, really uh, 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 spend effort to calibrate the STM to make sure it, it's real zero. And uh, later on, as uh, showed by uh, 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 Japanese group, uh, uh, Hanaguri's group, and they show uh, actually uh, using their super high resolution with the effective temperature of 85 millikelvin and show Actually, this is a, a zero bias peak. And uh, later on, uh, the same thing has been uh, found in another similar uh, ion based superconductor, lithium on uh, oxygen, hydrogen, and uh, on selenium. And uh, doing the same thing. Uh, this zero mode actually is not splitting uh, once we move away from the vortex center. To the edge, uh, so uh, majority of zero modes uh, never shift; they just fade away like uh, old soldiers. And uh, this is in a, a contrast with the ordinary this uh, CDG um, uh, peak. Uh, they actually they can cross uh, um, to zero, but they separate. It, it's also different from this uh, TI on. Superconductor, uh, the, which uh, have a component of the non uh, dispersive uh, the zero mode and also have a dispersive uh, because in this case, the EF is very large around the 0.6 EV. So, data square over EF is very, very small, essentially, it's zero. So, all of the bound states uh, will collapse at the zero energy. So, uh, so you have uh, partial uh, Majorana zero modes. And uh, we can also uh, actually uh, describe our uh, line profile by this simple Majorana uh, profile. Uh, this has been um, provided by Liang Fu, who is actually the first one <laughs> to believe our story. And uh, he, he he immediately realized our case is very similar or it's actually equivalent, somewhat equivalent to what has been proposed by him and Charlie Kang. And so this is the simple equation and using this parameter obtained by experiments and both our pass and STM and they can describe our uh, spatial line profile very rare. Uh, but more importantly, it's not for this uh, zero energy or this uh, spatial profile, it's actually they discrete the uh, vortex bound state. So uh, in our case, we reached so-called quantum limit, uh, which uh, the quantum limit temperature is defined as Tc times uh, the superconducting gap divided by EF. Uh, since we have a small EF and the large gap and also relative high DC, so 
this quantum limit temperature uh, is relatively uh, uh, high. So our experimental um, uh, temperature is much lower. It's uh, you know, 400 millikelvin or even lower. So in this case, uh, all of the vortex uh, bounds that become discrete as described by this uh, formula. And uh, uh, this uh, is known, say, in the ordinary the vortex, if we have a Schrodinger uh, uh, state and uh, you wear half, uh, this will become a half integer. So you have a plus minus half, plus minus uh, uh, three half, and so on. And but if you have this Dirac state, uh, this bring a tie phase, uh, this uh, barrier phase, and uh, this will turn this uh, to become a integer because you will have a even number here uh, divided by two, so you will have a, a integer. So. In this case, you have a zero mode, uh, you have a plus minus one plus minus two. So uh, since in this uh, material, some of the vortex uh, is ordinary, and some of it is topological. So we see both case. Uh, we see this uh, half uh, case, and also we see the integer case and we show it here. So this kind of, <clears throat> separate all of the other uh, discrete state. And uh, uh, so in, uh, this become a simple uh, quantum mechanics uh, problem. So if you only have, have the Dirac uh, state uh, and you will have uh, this discrete and uh, state and, uh, with the zero mode being uh, almost by definition, uh, much on a zero mode. So we also did this uh, um, to check uh, whether or not we have the quantized uh, conductance as first uh, proposed by Patrick Lee and the colleague. Uh, they, they proposed say, um, this is a, a, actually a resonant and reflection. Uh, if you have a, a much on the mode. And uh, so uh, the, the IDV, the conductance uh, will reach the, is two uh, e square of h uh, the quantized conductance. Uh, we tried uh, to uh, we tried this experiment. We uh, push uh, STM tip uh, closer closer uh, to the uh, surface, and we see uh, the the conductor increase and reach a plateau. Uh, but the, uh, to reach this two e square of h is very rare. Uh, most of the case actually half upon six. And so we only have a single case out of 130 to reach one. Uh, we think this may relate to the coupling may, uh, they may have the coupling between the tip and the surface, or you can think of the tip, uh, the potential may affect uh, the surface potential. So. Uh, this uh, introduce uh, additional uh, uh, problem or additional, um, yeah. Uh, so may may uh, reduce uh, this uh, plateau. And uh, after finding uh, the zero mode uh, in iron uh, selenium aluminum, and we have to think to find more. Uh, this iron based uh, superconductor ho uh, hosting uh, on zero mode. Um, because uh, in the iron or terrorism selenium, uh, it is uh, a, 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 a doped, a mixed half half. So they have acquired a lot of disorder uh, in the bulk and in the surface. So it's not uh, very good if one. Uh, Want to do a grading, or even if we want to see uh, this uh, uh, uniformed um, zero mode. So we have to uh, look for a more uniform material and non doped, and essentially the homogeneous. Uh, one of this is this calcium potassium on four, arsenic four. So <clears throat> 
and we uh, stamp on this material which I have for high RTC and uh, we kind of look at the, the band structure and uh, realize uh, this may become uh, topological and then we went on uh, did the, the RPS and also uh, the best here and uh, so um, not surprisingly uh, we actually see um, this uh, uh, the Dirac cone slightly above EF uh, in RPS and uh, and also uh, we see the zero mode and uh, <clears throat> and the, uh, the nice thing about this is where you see uh, this uh, uh, the uh, the bound state uh, the zero minus one minus two minus three uh, and follow the pattern as predicted uh, by the simple theoretical simulation uh, you actually ha have a two solid uh, dots so one is a zero another is minus one uh, uh, the reason it's a minus one is because the Dirac cone is above EF, so it has to be this one. Uh, we actually showed in the paper, and uh, the plus one is actually hollow. So, and uh, um, then uh, you can see the hollow one. Uh, and uh, so this actually demonstrate uh, what we see is actually a, a bound state, a discrete bound state in a, a vortex. And uh, it comes from a Dirac uh, state, and because uh, all of those uh, simulations are based on a single Dirac state. So uh, one, uh, it would be a very difficult to argue against uh, this is not a bound state from a Dirac state. So the zero mode has to be a much on zero mode. Uh, in this material, it, um, the, uh, the band inversion is it, actually induced by this uh, uh, symmetry breaking. Uh, this is a double layer. Uh, it breaks uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this uh, um, glide mirror symmetry. Uh, that actually uh, <clears throat> uh, induced uh, the band inversion at the gamma point. And uh, so the, this is a very interesting and uh, we think uh, it may uh, have some uh, other uh, fascinating property uh, as we uh, right now trying to understand some exotic behavior uh, in this material. We also uh, realize this uh, uh, mono layer of the ion terrarium selenium uh, may become a topological. <clears throat> and since uh, this monolayer the material has the highest TC among ion-based superconductors uh, with the TSC up to 50 or even 60 Kelvin, so it might be good uh, to uh, reach this so-called high temperature uh, topological superconductivity. And, uh, <clears throat> but the, uh, the monolayer is a two-dimensional, so we have to find the on edge uh, for Marjana zero mode, uh, which is uh, more difficult. Uh, so we realize actually most of our ion-based superconductors are topological, as shown in this paper. Uh, this is uh, uh, the calculation. Uh, this uh, uh, yeah, include uh, this uh, uh, the local U, and uh, so from here you can see only this eleven uh, eleven uh, is not. Uh, topological, uh, the one, two, two, one, 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 and one, one, uh, all uh, uh, topological uh, non trivial. And uh, from experiment, the RPS, uh, we clearly see in the lithium ion arsenic, uh, <clears throat> we have a, 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 a Dirac cone, and we also see the TDS cone above, and it has a strong uh, spin polar region. So this gives us a good hope because lithium ion arsenic is a homogeneous, not only in the bulk, but also on the surface, uh, because uh, unlike this calcium, potassium ion four, uh, arsenic four, which is uh, uh, homogeneous for the bulk, but 
but it has the polar, polar surface. So the surface is not so good. Uh, this has a non-polar surface, uh, have the one of Mars bonding on this, um, this, uh, between the two uh, lithium uh, layers. So we say, gee, this would be a fantastic uh, platform uh, for Marjona zero mode. Uh, but the third, uh, uh, this uh, material uh, has no zero mode, uh, as showed by Hanaguri back in 2012, saying uh, you have a, a peak, no that zero. Uh, this is uh, a ordinary, um, this uh, CDG uh, um, um, bound state from the bulk state. Uh, actually, one can show it. it's actually coming from uh, this large hole, uh, <clears throat> and this uh, DXY band. And so this is a big puzzle. <clears throat> and uh, so we, we try to say, to understand why in the free vortex of the lithium ion arsenic, why there's no much on zero mode. <clears throat> so uh, we perform STM measurement uh, in the free vortex. Yes, we repeat uh, the result of uh, how the guru uh, showing <clears throat> this uh, uh, state, uh, the bound state, C. CDG state uh, away from zero, <clears throat> but uh, in some of the impurity, <clears throat> which is uh, very often on the surface, <clears throat> we do see a, a zero peak. This is so-called uh, impurity assisted. And uh, we wonder what happened. So we propose uh, that in this uniform ion-based superconductor, this uh, for uh, this uh, <clears throat> chemical potential, I see that on the spending of the uh, uh, Dirac state. So you actually cross one branch of the Dirac state twice. So in this case, you will have two Majorana zero mode in a one vortex core, then they ionic. So you don't see a zero mode. But if you have impurity to double it, you can shift. So you move away from this binding and you can actually see zero mode. So that's our explanation. And uh, then we will see, <clears throat> we want uh, how can we achieve a more controllable uh, Majorana zero mode. Uh, in this material. So we actually uh, did the experiment uh, to have, uh, we post uh, the paper uh, in last November, showing a tunable vortex module modes controlled by string in homogeneous lithium ion arsenic. So in, as I showed before, we suspect that the EF is actually uh, in this and that, that this creates two zero modes in a single vortex. So you have, you become zero. But if we move this uh, uh, chemical potential away, uh, then uh, if you cross once, you will see a machine on zero mode. Uh, that's uh, what's happening uh, in the impurity. But we do need a controllable method uh, to adjust the EF, uh, not like uh, the impurity. Impurity is non-controllable. You don't know how much doping it will add. So we find a way, uh, the unexo string, and uh, it ought to be a great way to, to do this. Uh, because in the ion-based superconductor, you have this, uh, uh, essentially, it's a zigzag structure, so ion, and then uh, arsenic ion, they stay uh, uh, not in a plane, but in kind of zigzag uh, uh, fashion. So it's like a spring. So you uh, press the unexo uh, string and uh, then it can uh, change the bonding angle easily. And so we find that it's great. So, it's actually very simple. We use a simple device uh, to use a screw uh, to apply 
the, uh, this uh, uh, strain. And uh, here we, we do the one, one, zero case and uh, did the, uh, the opposite first. Uh, this is the unstrained um, case. Uh, we see the Marco, we see all of our bulk bands. This is a strain. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, here, uh, this uh, dashed line on the, uh, 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 this uh, unstrained uh, band and this solid line on the trace for the strain. So you can clearly see they do have the shift of this. In this case, uh, we actually uh, move down the EF or equivalent that we move up all of the bands up, uh, to above. So we can have this case to actually cross once instead of cross this direct, uh, this, uh, direct state twice. So, but now we show um, this, uh, uh, the Fermi surface actually change from this uh, C4 signature to the C2 and to, to show this effect of the strain. We also see in ESTM this, uh, this uh, uh, axis change uh, from the being same uh, to be quite a different. So you can clearly see uh, this uh, has a difference uh, from the C4 to the C2 uh, lattice. <clears throat> and also you can see from the image of the vortex uh, from this uh, C2 have this star shape, uh, which is a signature from this, uh, uh, this large uh, uh, square uh, DXY state. Uh, this uh, give this uh, the tip of this uh, star. Uh, and if we uh, Tong, apply, Tong, yes. If, uh, Tong, given that we've probably only got 10 more minutes of your talk, we would like to leave some time for discussion. So please bear okay. that in mind. Okay. Okay, yeah, I will quickly uh, finish up and uh, have a few more slides. So <clears throat> we apply the strain, uh, this uh, becomes a rectangular uh, uh, lattice. And we also see uh, <clears throat> you know, this, uh, the zero um, <clears throat> and bias peak emerge once we apply strain. And uh, it's remarkable, we fully anticipate this will uh, happen, uh, but uh, once uh, it did happen, we actually uh, were kind of overwhelmed uh, by this result. So, <clears throat> and uh, this also uh, happened in a, a, a many uh, cases for the free, the vortex in the unstrained, uh, we have 0% of the zero mode. Uh, we did the 21 vortex in the strain, we did the 44, we achieved 75%. So statistically it's very significant. We've increased from 0% to 75%. The rest, we think it's this uh, non-uniform strain. And if we apply more strain, uh, we will achieve 100% uh, for all the models have zero mode. This is also uh, the discrete, uh, Kalira showed here with a zero plus minus one plus minus two, and uh, <clears throat> uh, we also can tune the pressure differently. So we can have a different EF because this uh, uh, separation uh, between this uh, bound state are um, more or less uh, inverse proportional to EF. So once we reduce the EF, we will see the increase of this separation. But once they cross to zero, and then you will see Again, the EF decrease, but with a, a, a negative sign. So you will see this uh, separation decrease. And we wanted to do this, uh, if we can do the QPI to see how this uh, separation uh, in seizure and uh, to demonstrate all of this uh, uh, according to the simple quantum mechanics, uh, we will see this is indeed uh, this, uh, as Majorana zero mode. So we actually find that the iron home for Majorana, uh, which is uh, actually a nature's gift. So it provides us a single material uh, with the vortex, uh, which is a topological uh, uh, object. Uh, it overcome this uh, charge potential uh, fluctuation in nanowires. 
We have the R patch can tell all of the parameters, SDM to probe the local information. And we have a zero field check to make sure it's a true zero mode. And the, but most important, we have a large level spacing under the quantum limit, uh, which reflect uh, this uh, global uh, topology and also reflect it's a true single zero mode. Uh, this have this uh, um, has been <clears throat> highlighted in this uh, year and the review. I uh, see we may achieve the Goldilocks scenario and uh, to have a pure Moshwana. So we have the single material, high DC, high purity. And we think uh, this will have only one explanation in theory, uh, which is a Moshwana zero mode. We, are, we challenge <laughs> recording for uh, alternative explanation. And uh, so th this is uh, our um, conclusion. Uh, we establish a topological nature of the arm based um, uh, superconductors. We offer a compelling evidence, if it is not a smoking gun evidence, for existence of, of a pure Majorna zero mode inside the vortex of many arm based superconductors. As a result, arm based superconductors have emerged as a new playground of uh, Majorna. And here, these are of, uh, some of our papers, uh, well, I caught a poem, a famous Chinese poem. So I translate in English is, in my dream, iron horses across the icy river. Uh, this iron horse in Chinese is same pronunciation or same word as iron, Majorana. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Hong. Um, thank you very much. And yeah, so we have already a few questions uh, from Rajiv and after that, Valentin. Oh, yeah, I was just, uh, I was just trying to. Uh, oh, you're just trying to clap. Yeah, clap. So, <laughs> okay, Valentin, it's your turn. So the, yeah, I, I guess I want to clap for a very nice presentation. Um, I have a question on the last uh, the last thing with the strain. So when you apply the strain, many things happen. You break the symmetry, um, the dispersion changes, and you also show that you change the, the Fermi level. So which one is the one that, uh, among all of what happens, which which one is the one that you would say uh, favors the, the Majorana? So uh, in both case, you will see. So uh, as uh, Pierce showed in his uh, uh, PR, and uh, so actually TDS can also show uh, Majorana uh, if you break the C4 symmetry. And uh, so uh, in this case, we, are, we only showed for the, uh, this uh, um, Duracon for TI uh, point. So we actually, uh, for the one, uh, one, one, zero direction, uh, the pressure of the strain actually uh, move down the Fermi energy continuously. So we, we reach uh, the pure TI phase. So this is easy. But if we apply one, zero, zero uh, direction, we actually move up uh, the EF. So can move toward this uh, TDS phase. And uh, so we are actually have the data uh, showing the TDS. So the TDS uh, uh, is uh, actually a little bit uh, uh, more, um, uh, um, uh, more difficult. Or it, it essentially uh, in a, uh, the TDS phase, as predicted by uh, Pierce Coleman and the jumping who, you will see a helical but marginal mode. You don't see the zero mode. But if you break the C4 symmetry, you will see the zero mode emerge. So you have a transition. And we think we kind of see this. And so we hope we'll, next time we will present the other TDS. Case. Okay. Thank you. All right, Pierce. Yes. Um. Uh. I had two questions. One was, 
what fraction of your vortices exhibit uh, Majorana cores in them? Uh, how often do you see that in the various materials you've looked at in the vortex core? Is it? Uh, yes. Um, so we measured uh, uh, essentially uh, three uh, cases the iron, terranium, and selenium. Mm -hmm. In that case, uh, we have about 20 to 30 uh, percent uh, overall. Mm -hmm. uh, in some of the uh, lucky uh, surface, we see more than 50 percent. What, 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 why mm -hmm. does it fail in some, some vortices and not others? What, what, what is the variability that's there? Yeah, in hindsight, now we look at it from the real mirror, we, we, we understand. So uh, you have a different uh, chemical potential for the different side. Uh, mm -hmm. Essentially, you have a quite a inhomogeneous uh, case. So mm -hmm. uh, the, the Majorana is very sensitive to the lo location of chemical potential. <clears throat> so you, you, you will see this. I, I, mm -hmm. As I showed in the case of uh, lithium ion arsenic. So in that case, uh, in this case, uh, <laughs> one did not see in, in the uh, all of the free water, you say 0%, uh, because you have a homogeneous uh, case, which have this, uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, um, uh, situation with uh, uh, the EF setting I and this uh, uh, double crossing uh, regime. So, so that, that's uh, in this, uh, the 1144 case, uh, we see a similar percentage. We see, well, we, we see higher, we see probably 50%. Uh, in that case, because the, the surface is a, um, a polar surface. So you have really a, a, a kind of two kind of surface. And so, which somewhat uh, disrupt. And uh, in the iron, uh, this uh, lithium ion arsenic, so we we show on the stream we achieve seventy five percent, and in some of the cases we essentially see one hundred percent in all three vortex. Very if you apply it on the same, so so we we think that that's essentially uh, uh, nail down this problem. And and just <clears throat> and just and just to clarify, you're thinking of this in terms of a a topological. In the same way as Liang Fu's original picture, you're thinking that you've got a topological surface state interacting with a bulk, shall we say, S wave or S plus minus wave superconductor. Is that your picture? Yes. Yes. Okay. So yeah. We, yes, we have this uh, Dirac uh, uh, surface state, which will become a superconductor. Uh, got you. Yeah. Thank so, you. so yeah, we have just uh, we demonstrated. The superconducting gap is actually slightly smaller than the bar, the mm -hmm. surface. So, which actually uh, kind of uh, show uh, this is induced superconducting gap. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, sure. uh, Rajiv, uh, you have a question? I was just going to ask what determines the width of the Majorana mode in your experiments? Is it uh, uh, resolution limited by the experimental technique, or is there actually a width? It's uh, resolution limited so far, even down to this uh, 85 mini Kelvin uh, uh, showed by Hannah Gurus. Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, 85 <laughs> mini Kelvin is not the, the temperature, but the temperature plus uh, uh, noise. Yeah. So. So I have a question as well. So, I mean, if I understand from the Kane, Kane and Fu papers and what you are doing, what in some sense, what you need is the vent inversion that generates like a TI effect. And then yes. uh, you need the, to be at the right, uh, you know, place of EF has to be right of place. Um, so is that iron has to be special in that sense? Because I can find superconductors with the T2G orbitals um, in principle, bend inversion might occur uh, somewhere, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, you might sure. 
Yeah, so then it may not be that um, iron that's, uh, it, it, has, it happens that it, it is the case, but in principle, we can find more abundant of these uh, superconductors, is that? Yeah, absolutely, you are absolutely correct. So one should expect more this uh, uh, machine applied for in multi-band superconductors. Mm -hmm. I, I, as also predicted by other uh, people, but it's kind of a special for ARM-based superconductor is they have a, usually have a very small EF because it compensate uh, mm -hmm. as a metal. So you have a tiny uh, mm -hmm. pockets for from your surface. So all of the EF are small. So this uh, offers a, a large, uh, this uh, separation between this uh, zero mode and the non-zero mode. Which is important mm -hmm. to yeah. to actually see see all of the properties and also do the breeding. So if one have the same situation for other superconductors which have a band inversion, yeah. sure that yeah. So um, but we don't see uh, the others. So mm -hmm. so far the eye uh, has been special is uh, have the small EF and the large. Uh, TC and the superconducting gap. Mm -hmm. On one sample, in one sample, do you just have one such vortex with Majorana mode, or you have many? We have many. We have essentially we can have Majorana lattice. So you have like essentially a um, because of vortex lattice. Then, if one hundred percent you have for Majorana, essentially you have for Majorana lattice. So, if the lattice is dense enough, you may have a Majorana band. So, yeah, we are still searching for 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 evidence for this. Right. But if you have isolated vortices, then maybe you can do braiding, right? I mean, if you have a Majorana band, then you will not. Yes. Yes, you are, you are absolutely correct. We're doing it. So you needed to create an island to have some isolated, say you have say one or two, or you can controllable uh, doing this. Uh, essentially the island will also bring this, uh, the coolant um, um, effect. So, and which you, you, you can do the fusion. So, that's this uh, our thing. So we are writing a paper to um, to actually uh, demonstrate a roadmap uh, um, to realize uh, topological qubit in an arm based superconductor. Hmm. Okay. Um, anyone has any other question? I think we should end, I guess, then. So then let's thank to uh, Hong Ding again. Thank you so much. Um, so this will be the end of um, today's um, session and I will let uh, Razi or Pierce uh, make announcement if any for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for coming Hong. We appreciated it. Um, yes, well, tomorrow morning we'll meet again at nine o'clock California time uh, and uh, with Joe Moore uh, presenting a uh, his talk tomorrow morning. So see you all then, and have a good night. Yeah, good night. See you. Nine p.m. <laughs> nine a.m. Yeah. Did I say nine p.m.? I said nine p.m. Yeah, it's nine. We we'll also have a discussion on short-term goals for quantum computers. Yep, at ten thirty. Very good. Yeah.